Yo, how's it going everybody? Scamman22 here, back with some more Layton for the last time this playthrough anyways. President Layton and the last Spectre. The last DS1 has been going swimmingly so far. We had a pretty crazy puzzle streak last night. Um, the, uh, the second part had a plenty of puzzles that stumped me, and then I kind of went crazy the last part, and I think I got at least like a dozen or so puzzles in a row, and then I got tricked by a few at the end. Um, but yeah, it's been very interesting. We're getting, we're getting to the nitty gritty of the story now. Lots of mysteries to un or mysteries to solve. Lots of people who are sus. <laughs> it's hard to figure out who's the culprit. Or what's what's even happening? How is this all happening? What is going on? Who knows? Uh, there's just there's just a lot to unpack. There's like the mysterious man that Inspector Jakes is talking to. Jakes himself is very like creepy, evil, and mysterious. Oh, here come that boy, oi, oi, Jangle Storm with the 40 month resub. Oh shit, the 40 Pog. Thank you so much, Jangle. Hope you're doing well this fine Friday. Congrats again on getting into SGDQ with Beard Blade. That's super exciting. Very excited to uh, to catch that run whenever that happens. That's definitely a game I need to get at some point. <laughs> Looks like a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, Layton's been going well. Let us continue, shall we? Let's get this finale underway, I guess. Um, we don't have too much left after looking it up. I think I have a couple chapters in an epilogue left, so... Uh, yeah. Um, so this will probably end up being a pretty short stream as well. But then we'll roll the next game after Crash Bash, and then uh, maybe take a look at some of the optional stuff too before we go. Um, so yeah. Thank you, looking forward to it. Heck yeah, super sick. There's definitely a few runs on the on the list that caught my attention. I was like, oh, heck yeah, I'm glad this got in, glad this got in. Um, yeah, a couple of my friends like you and Zick got in as well. Super stoked about that. Um, yeah. Bubsia gonna do their first in-person GDQ is pretty exciting too. Lots, lots of uh, interesting stuff going on there. Unfortunately, Hime's quest did not make it in. I'm not too surprised, to be honest. That's okay. There's always next time, maybe. <laughs> Sorry, Hime's quest didn't make it in. No, it's all good. No worries. It was kind of a Hail Mary shot in the dark attempt anyway. I, I wasn't, like, <laughs> super invested into that submission, to be fair. Um, so, yeah, it's 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 all good. Um, yeah, always worth a try. Exactly. Pretty much. I mean, I've, again, I've already, I've already had plenty of opportunities to do a lot of cool runs, both at GDQ and, you know, other places that like, I am totally fine not ever doing another one ever again if it comes to that. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm honored to have even done one. So, you know, that's, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah. All right. DJ that boy file at the wrecked arch apparently. Let's resume. After the very short recap, our story so far. After figuring out that the old pipe system is what carries the flute music through town, the group heads toward the lake where the pipes begin. What truth awaits them? <gasps> who is the uh who is the flute performer? And why are they doing this? On pause timer now. Chapter 9 The Spectre Becomes Clear. Is it her? Is it Ariana? Da, da, da. Why is she there? Oh my goodness, how many puzzles did I miss? Are these all of them? Six? Oh god. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I missed 17 puzzles? <laughs> what in the world? Maybe that was in back in like London, maybe? And I, did, I never went back to go check on those? I don't know. Dang, rip. That's, that's so many puzzles. 
<laughs> my puzzles. <laughs> Capital D colon indeed. What the heck? Um, yikes. I did find a lot of the hidden puzzles though, as you can see. Like I skipped to like these 140 ones. I'm, I only missed a few of the hidden ones. 148 and 154. Interesting. I wonder, I, I'm just trying to like think where I missed all those. <laughs> okay, that's okay. That's why the cat's there. If we want to mess around with the other puzzles, we can do that. Um, okay, head to the lake. Yes, let's let us go. Let's see, do you have new puzzles for me? <laughs> Is this how I missed it? No. Okay, I think, I think they really want us to go to the lake. All right. Um, is there a faster way to get there? No, I think this is really, oh. Oh, oh I almost missed that. Mouse badge. Um, yeah, there's that guy there, but I think I just have to go there manually. There isn't a further Bucky warp point. Oh, there's the cat. <laughs> Time to do all those puzzles I missed. Let's go. Let's marathon through them right now. Spend an entire hour on these. Let's see, so how much total now? I must have, must be at like 20 total now. 6, 12, 18, 21, yeah. Okay. And I think one of these is the one I skipped. The like sliding puzzle. That's why I'm at 74 out of 75. <laughs> I was like, ah, I... I don't think I'm in the mood for a 30 plus solution minimum uh, sliding puzzle right now. Thankfully it wasn't required. Alright, we're almost at the lake. Here we go. Here! Exclamation mark. Oh wait, no, one more. Here! <laughs> oh, there are the kids. They're still there. <gasps> voice line, man. It's been a while since a, like, a voice line outside of a, like, a video cutscene. I have it worked out. I know what the spectre is, and who is controlling it with the flute. You do? I understand. I knew it was only a matter of time. It was you? Please, follow me then. Oh, is she gonna perform for us? Are you sure about this? Hmm. What's in the bag? What's that? Some kind of... Loot. Oh, it's an ocarina. Heck yeah. Monster. It's so cute. It's it's te it's just Tessie from Earthbound. Oh my gosh, this thing's adorable. Come on, stop it. <laughs> Professor, is this the Spectre? Uh, what if it is? This is our good friend Lucia. She Lucia. comes from the ancient race. Isn't she beautiful? I think she's one of the last of her kind. The noises it makes are so cute, too. Attack the town. <laughs> I wasn't. Maybe it isn't? Lucia is not the Spectre. Yeah, there you go. The real Spectre is something far worse. It's Boosha. <laughs> it's evil arch nemesis. <laughs> what? My brain is so confused. Yeah, word. Lucia was actually Doll. protecting Miss Tallery from the Spectre. Oh no! Could Lucia destroy buildings with her flippers? And these scratches on her body? These injuries were sustained while fighting with the real Spectre. Interesting. So what is a Spectre? <gasps> and why does Ariana have that flute? What is a Spectre? Now just slow down, both of you. Allow me to explain. I wanted to stop the fighting. 
Oh, well, go ahead, Ariana. Playing the flute is the only thing that calms Lucia down. When Lucia appeared, Tony saw the town being destroyed from the tower here. He told me everything. And so I played the flute because I didn't want her to get hurt. Hmm. Interesting. Hey, what's up, Rob? Welcome in. Happy Friday. Wario Land 3, the instant Wario Land 3 vote. You got it. Um. So that would be... Vote to that. There we go. Cool. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay, cool. Sweet. Thank you. Mark that as complete. Uh, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> right back at you. Heck yeah. Dude, I still can't believe that 222 screenshot you sent me today. It's <laughs> <That's> wild. <laughs> sent me a. The World of Warcraft screenshot of an ability that fires two fireballs that each do 2,222 damage. <laughs> like, what are the odds? <laughs> it's like you're, you're like, I'm pretty sure the number that's in that skill, like, it's not hard coded, right? It's like based off the stats of your character or whatever. So, like, like, not only, like, was it like, so like crazy that that even happened like it, it also had to like depend on the character's stats that calculates the damage <laughs> it varies on the level okay yeah lurking again with some p5 hey, what's up glow happy friday no worries enjoy the lurk again <laughs> while you pop back in for the various interesting things and characters that pop up <laughs> We just met Lucia, such an adorable creature. I I want a Lucia. <laughs> it just reminds me so much of Tessie from Earthbound. It's so cute. And that sound carried through the pipes to every part of town. That's right. Ariana, it's time you told us the whole truth. <gasps> I understand, Mr. Layton. I will tell you everything. Oh snap, we're gonna get a huge lore dump, plot twist, etc. I caved and bought both Persona 3 and Persona 4 because they were on sale on the Switch store. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's what I'm talking about. You know, Persona games are awesome. I have not finished 3 personally, I got pretty far in 3, but I have played both 4 and 5 and definitely I recommend all of them for sure. So if you're enjoying 5, I think you'll definitely enjoy the other two somewhat although three and four i'm not not to say that they're worse than five because five just kind of like really nailed it four and three do have a few like different things about it that might affect your experience with the game especially three three is like really out there in some of the things it has going on in there without delving too deeply into it but um yeah i i think you'll still probably enjoy most of them um i'm determined to meet a catchy today oh heck yeah <laughs> awesome yeah you got this i don't know how far you are now maybe you've probably finished the second palace now or something or at least getting close but yeah cool um I would love that though, a monk breathing fire with lots of twos involved. Oh, <laughs> it's the mo it's a monk skill as well. That's awesome. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> I will tell you what we did and what happened in town. All right, Ariana. Sorry for delaying your very important, uh, I guess, Lord dump here. Let's let's hear what she has to say. Oh, never mind. We, have, we are further interrupted by video game stuff. Uh, okay, so we know how the flute came to be. And the specter. Da, 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 any more news here? No, not really. Okay, here we go. Uh, excuse me? No! What the heck? Oh, my heart. No. Oh, this is freaking Jake. What is this? 
<laughs> God, this guy is just the worst. <laughs> I caught a spectre. Turns out he was just a big old ugly dinosaur. Ha ha ha! Jake's triumphs again! <laughs> that laugh. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> and we're just standing here like. Like, has it clicked yet that I've escaped yet? <laughs> I don't know. Don't, I'm not sure. He's just out there framing everything and everyone. That's not the real culprit. Finish second palace way for the change of heart. I play change of heart from my hand, which allows me to control a monster on your side of the field. Okay, sorry, I had to. I had the, the Yu-Gi-Oh reference. Just I had to speak on that tank monk specifically. Oh, right, yeah, because you said you were a tank. That's true. Um. Yeah, not the sweet BB D colon. Yes. Jake's you Morshu, the shopkeeper looking at. <laughs> yeah. And this here is the witch what was controlling it. The witch what was controlling Two it. Two birds with one stone. Peace is restored and everyone lived happily ever after. <laughs> Chief Shakes, the real spectre is not this creature. You shut your trap, Lighten. <laughs> You're just lucky I don't throw you back behind bars. You hear? Or uh, Tony, I think is this guy's name, right? He's just there, like all sad, like stop it, Jakes. You big old meanie. No! You can't do oh my god, they've been taking Ariana away. No. Ariana, no. <laughs> That's what Tony! I said. <laughs> Luke. Come on, what are you waiting for? We have to catch up Luke, with him. Luke, calm down for a moment. What do you mean, calm down? Uh... She'll be fine. I give you my word on that, Luke. Remember, you can only help Ariana if you keep a clear mind. A clear mind? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Jeez, that was a... Uh quite a start to the chapter. We only just started the chapter and a lot just happened there. I'm sorry, Tony. No! Everyone in this town hates us. <laughs> I don't believe that's true. Take this note to a boy named Crow. Yeah, Crow will help. Trust. Trust the process. Layton knows what's up. Something resem that resembles Lucia, but isn't Lucia. That's why I said it's their evil arch nemesis, Busha. They're like a ghost, or they're a ghost Loch Ness monster. <laughs> and that's why it looks like a specter. I could tell you, but I'd rather show you. Let's see what a little trap yields us. Oh. Clayton knows a lot right now. <laughs> the trap. The very same trap. I know that people call her on a witch, but they have no reason to harbor ill feelings for her. We need to prove to the town that Jakes is wrong about this. Yes. Here comes evidence. Alright, let's see what happened. Uh, okay. Gotta go all the way back. Yeehaw! Oh, where did you two come from? There's a little boy that came rushing out of Bard Manor just now. What's going on? Yeah, he's delivering the note. Yes. Speaking of Crow, we have a message for him. That's why we're waiting for you. He said he looked into what you asked about. He wrote down all the info. Yay! Oh, puzzle. Oh, all right. Number 125, the Spectre's Path, 35 Pickery Dews. Hey, look at that, it's a Spectre. 
Traps were set at every intersection in town. That night, every time the specter passed an intersection, that spot was marked with a red X. Knowing that the specter never hits the same area twice, Luke had a revelation. I've got it! I know which way the specter went. Which way A to H does Luke think the specter went? Circle the letter. That night, every time the specter passed an intersection, that spot was marked with a red X. Knowing that he never seen the same twice, look at Revelation, I know which way the specter went. I'm confused on this one. Understand this puzzle like at all. <laughs> so all these X's means that the Spectre passed through all of these areas at least once. Uh huh. But how does this tell me which one they went to? Okay, I understand. Oh, okay, I get it now. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my god, okay. I, I see it now. Oh my god, okay. Basically just playing connect the dots. from here could be a couple different ways i think the answer is going to be a though uh i actually might have messed this up here don't think there's any way to do it from here like this Yeah, wait, no, I messed up somewhere around here. Hold on, let me redo. Somewhere around here I did this wrong. Um, maybe instead, like this. And from here. Oh, I also could have done like this. Mm. And then this is an intersection. Like, I feel like H is the answer. It's either H or A. Yeah, so let's just pretend, let's pretend that he did this instead. That eliminates those two. Then from here, oh, they can't go this way because this is an intersection. So they have to go this way. Then from here. Here's where I get stuck, though. I can't get this one now. How do I get this one?
Wow, this is a tough one. This ending is throwing me off here. Um... How do I hit this spot here? Maybe my beginning is all wrong? Like it has to start here because that's intersection, that's intersection, that's intersection, that's intersection. So yeah, I have to go down this way to start no matter what. And then I can't go right because this would be an intersection, this would be an intersection. So then I have to go either left or down. Maybe I go straight left from the get-go. Is that a possibility? Honestly, it might be. That would fix that problem here. But then... Then it gets complicated. Because then how do I get... How do I get this one, then? Maybe... Oh, I see it now. Okay, wait, hold on. Wait, re reset, reset. Okay, what if instead... I go like this? There we go. That fixes that problem. And then instead of going that way, I can go this way. And I go here. Okay, so it's not H or A. It's none of them. Okay, and then I go here. Here, here, here. Here. And I can't go down, so it's either right or up. So I'm gonna go up, then I go here, here. Uh, I probably go left to get those ones. Then I go here, I go here, here, here. Yeah, and then here, here. Okay, answer's E. <laughs> which was the first one I circled, like, randomly, which is kind of funny. Ooh, that was a tricky one. Okay. I knew I could do it! It took me like two minutes to even understand what to even do, and then I got really confused. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh... We'll tell Curly you got the message. Cool. GG. Thank you, Rob. Right, slowly making our way back to the factory. Oh, and we haven't. The factory- I went to the factory screen once and there was a guy outside, a very mysterious fellow, and I did his puzzle and then I never went back. Um... Oh, which way- oh, there's the factory, so I guess fastest would be... One. Bucky-o fast travel! Thank you, buddy. Buddy-o, Bucky-o, pal. Cats everywhere. Oh, oh can't believe I got that one. Or do you have a puzzle? He does! Toma! How about a puzzle from old Thomas to turn that frown upside down? Okay. Jumping marbles. Oh, is this gonna be one of those like peg solitaire puzzles? 55 pick reduce. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. 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 Oh boy. This might be one I skip too. Not because I don't like them. It's just this could take me a long time to figure out, especially if there's a lot of these marbles I have to eliminate. Yeah. Oh, and they even added two marbles that can't be jumped over. Oh dear. Yeah. Oh dear lord indeed. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this is probably going to be a pass. This could take me forever. Um, so what's what are our opening moves? We have so many opening moves to try. That's the thing, right? We have up this way. We have left this way. We have right this way. We have left this way, down this way, up this way. Uh, okay, well, we got to try something. Uh, let's start with... Let's go... Uh, this way. Oh, I can even go outside. Oh, I didn't realize I could do that too. Oh, jeez, there's so many possibilities. Oh, yikes. Okay. 
All right, let's. It's time to just try random stuff and hope it works. I think I'm already screwed. Yep. <laughs> like these puzzles are just rough cuz like it's just it's just a big old trial and error puzzle. Like there's no rhyme or reason. Oh, it's just some secret sauce I don't know about. Yeah, no, no mercy. Yeah, pretty much. I feel like you want to do most of your moves towards the center, though. I think that's like a, a key part of this to make it easier. Actually, I feel like I'm super close here. Oh, I got it. Hot diggity damn, what? <laughs> okay. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. All right. Remark a marble. Yeah, I'll, I'll, dude, that's exactly what I just said. The key is that you like, you don't want to move away. You want to move towards the center so you don't leave any marble stranding, I guess. Dang, dude, okay. That's the sauce. Hey, GG, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Thomas. All right, is the, is the dude at the factory again? Oh, wait, hold on, we gotta talk to Finch, the bird brain. An empty coop. A lot of talented folks work there. Kaka! Oh, this freaking guy. I never unlocked this one, I guess. All right, another fast travel spot. Let's go. Dude, Bucky is magical. All right, here we go. Factory is the guy there again. He is there. This guy. Oh, Mousy. What's his name again? Sebastian. I got laid off from the factory. Do you remember how long ago? Can't remember the past. Got no future. Used to produce steam cars here. But they shut it down. Said it was polluting things. Guess that's good. Factory is supposedly empty, but someone's someone is going in there. Oh. Who's inside? I haven't seen him. Not exactly, but those machines in there sure aren't running themselves. Hmm. <gasps> Back entrance they used to sneak into all the time. Oh. Oh. What do you take me for? Look how few puzzles you've solved. Go solve some more puzzles, then we'll talk. If you solve more than 80 puzzles, I'll show you. Oh my god, I actually didn't reach the amount of puzzles. No way. What? That's wild. Okay, let's go find the cat. Uh, where was the cat again? There was one in front of the lake, but I think there's a closer one somewhere. Right? The library has one. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Okay. Dang, I'm like, I'm, I'm actually like so shocked I'm behind on puzzles. Like, I haven't really been... I know I did miss a lot here, but I also wasn't trying to skip puzzles either. Like, I was actively talking to people over and over again. Uh, okay, so let's... I guess we'll do some of these early ones. Taste test. Let's go. 35 pick reduce. There are four different types of buns in this assortment of 12. Ooh. Bun buns. There are more cream buns than butter buns, fewer chocolate buns than jam buns, and fewer jam buns than cream buns. <laughs> if the bun, if buns of the same type always have the same shape, what is the fewest number of buns you'd have to taste to determine which shapes are each type? Oh my god, what? Whoa, that's crazy. Okay, wait a minute. So there's four different types? Okay. My guess would be two. I feel like you only have to taste two here. 
More cream buns than butter, fewer chocolate than jam, fewer jam than cream. Oh, that's a, actually kind of weird. It's not like a perfect order, right? So, C, are they all different letters? Oh, there's a chocolate as well. Okay, so C more than B, uh, J more than CH. Uh, and fewer jam than cream. Cream more than jam. So, cream is the most. But we don't know what's more between chocolate or butter. Right? Wait, cream? Yeah, more cream than butter. More cream than jam. And fewer chocolate than jam. And there's 12 total. So... Okay, so that's the thing. Okay, so... Four, three... Like, okay, I would say there- wait, oh, do these pictures actually, like, equate to- Is this just a random picture? Or do they actually, like, make sense with the puzzle? Okay, no, it's definitely- Oh, wait, no, actually, hold on, wait. Three cats, three of these ones. Three of those ones, and two of these ones. They have a 4332 on the picture. I'm gonna assume it's irrelevant, but let me just test that theory out for fun. So, like, cream would be four. Um, and then jam is more than chocolate, so chocolate would be the two. And then the other two would be three each, right? Which would make sense, right? Because then cream would still be more than both butter and jam that are each equal to three. Jam is more than... Okay, yeah, so... But now, so now that the question, I'm doing all this, but the, the ultimately the question is how many do I have to taste to know which shape equals which flavor or type or whatever? That's where it gets complicated. So, if we go by the logic of this image, the answer is actually just one. Because we just have to differentiate which one is chocolate and which one is, or no, not chocolate, uh, which one is jam and which one's butter of the two that are three buns, basically. Uh, but again, this puzzle, this picture might be misleading me. Because it it doesn't necessarily have to be four three three two, right? Because it could also be like it could also be like five cream, one chocolate, and then like uh, like four and two or something like that, right? Oh, but even then, the amounts shouldn't matter, right? Because if you know that chocolate is the fewest amount and cream is the most amount. Then you really, it doesn't even matter what the other amounts are. You just have to differentiate between the two middle ones. So, yeah, I think the answer is just one. Some puzzles must be met directly. Nice. No I almost, I almost said answer. two at the start, but after working it through, it made more sense. It's just one. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right, three more. UFO SOS. Sliding puzzle? Nope. I think that's the one I skipped. <laughs> uh, black and white cats, sure. Oh, look at the kitties. You want to display your impressive collection of black and white cat paperweights on this 4x4 grid. You must fill every space and no row or column can have more than two same colored cats next to each other. The six cats currently on the grid must remain where they are. How can you fill in the rest of the grid? Okay. Um, 
So hold on. No Roacom could have more than two same colored cats next to each other. But these two are next to each other in the same color, excuse me? Unless they move like side like side by side. Wait, I don't understand this. Let me read it. Fill every space. No row of have more than two. More than two same colored cats next to each other. It even says row or column. Row or column. The six cats around the grid must remain where they are. How can you fill in the... What? No, I don't understand this puzzle. I'm pretty sure, but these two are the same color and they're next to each other. This took some creative thinking. No, it didn't because I got it wrong. Yeah, I just want to see what, what this says. Gone wrong here. Start by looking at the paperweights already on the grid. Fadree Frick <laughs> Alright, let's see what the hint says. Anytime you spot two adjacent cats of the same color in a row or column, any space next to them in that row or column will be filled with a cat of the opposite color. Oh, I'm stupid! Oh, I- Oh my god, I'm misreading. I am- Okay, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. More than two. You can have two next to each other. You can't have more than two. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um. There. I, <laughs> okay. Just, sometimes you just gotta, solved. you gotta read. You just gotta read. Just don't be, don't be dumb like me. <laughs> just, just read. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Oi, you massive bring the ton of puzzles, give yourself a break. That's fair enough. Okay, book stacks. 35. Someone left a ton of books on the table, and now these two librarians have the unpleasant task of shelving them all again. Oh man, I've been there. I actually, I had that as a job for a little bit. I was a library shelver, I guess you would call it, where you'd have to drag a bunch of books on a cart back in their respective spots on the shelves. It paid well, surprisingly. Okay, anyway, um... They're trying to count all the books, but they're stacked so high that neither one of them can see them all. Using each librarian's point of view, work out how many books are on the table. Oh, oh my god, I love these puzzles as a kid. It's like those, like, instead of books, they'd usually be just, like, cubes. And you just have to, you have to, like, say, okay, you see this perspective and this perspective. How many cubes are there? Oh, man. Okay. So we know there's five piles. From their diagonal point of view, there's 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. And from their point of view, from behind. Interesting. Okay, I see. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, I need to note this down. Okay, so we know this pile has five. We know this pile has four. This pile that she's seeing in the middle here is this one, which this person cannot see, so that's two. This person could also not see this one, which she sees, which is three. And then they can see this one here, which is two. So how many books total is that? That's 10, 16. Some puzzles must be met directly. Yeah, okay. A gentleman leaves no puzzle undone. Uh, fit for a king. Sounds good. 35 pick reduce. You have the job of cleaning a king's room in his palace. The, this king is quite meticulous and has declared that his room be cleaned in a very specific way. There are numbers written on some of the floor tiles that show the order in which the tiles should be cleaned. Uh, starting from tile 1 and proceeding from tile to adjacent tile in the correct order, can you find a way to clean all of the tiles without repeating any? To avoid dirtying the newly cleaned floor, the last tile you clean must be next to the door. When you touch a tile, it is given a number. Start from the tile mark with number one. Go over each tile in order to create a path of sequential numbers with the numbers already marked on the board. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wait, where's the door in this case? Uh... That's a good question. The last tile you clean must be next to the door. Am I blind? I think I'm blind. Oh wait, are they saying like this front entrance is the door? So I have to end at the bottom? Not sure if that's what they mean. But okay, anyway. Two, three, four, five, six. Um, oh snap! Oh, Tato, thank you for the 33 month resub. Ganbate Suketo san. Arigato gozaimasu. Happy Friday, hope you're doing well. 789. Uh, oh, wait, if I do this, then I can't end at the door, unless this counts as a door tile. <laughs> I'm not sure if that counts. Uh,. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Ba, ba, ba. 2, th Yeah. Okay. Does that count? Hey, it A counts. Okay, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> I love the thrill of a good solution. Look at that! Oh, are you serious? This is apparently the Chinese character for the word king. It seems that the king is keen on languages, puzzles, and clean floors. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, we've solved 80. I can progress now. These are fun, though. I'll, I'll come back here, cat, maybe. Um, all right, let's go back to the factory. We are now worthy to gain access to the back entrance. Go below the bridge up there, you'll see a boarded up passage. The boards come off easy enough. Go through, skirt the woods, and you'll be inside the factory wall. You'll need a key to get in. I still got mine, take it, and keep this under your hat, will ya? Heh heh. Heh Alright, under the bridge, huh? Like the bridge. Wait, can I actually enter? No, I can't. That's the front entrance. Would it be on this screen then? Oh, here. Oh. 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 
This must be the passageway that leads to the factory. It's quite narrow. I hope we can get through. Might have to take your hat off, Professor. <laughs> no, a gentleman does not take off his hat. <laughs> I'll wait and see if that is necessary, Luke. Let's go. Oh, you can just bend forward and hold the hat like this. And, like, charge in like a battering ram. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be able to see anything in front of him, but that's why the other two are there. I'm glad they were able to keep the puzzles fresh this long outside of sli yeah, outside of sliding puzzles, comma. <laughs> yes, exactly. I'm I'm glad as well. And like, there was definitely a big concern after the passing of the the puzzle creator. Like, I think it was between the sixth game and Catriel where. They passed away, unfortunately, and they had to use a whole other team to make puzzles, and they, the puzzles were not as strong, I think, in Catriel than the sixth game. As, as From what I heard, I don't even know if that's true or not. Um, but with the new game coming out now, and it's probably partially why it took so long to happen, was to find another competent puzzle creator as good as that former puzzle creator. And so now they finally did, and they found like this like successful like Japanese YouTube channel that has like millions of subscribers, and they're like their whole channel is built around making riddles and puzzles for like their viewers to solve. So I think they're in good hands with them. <laughs> and they're like, not, it's not even just like one person; they're like an entire team. They're like, I don't know how many people they showed in the image, but like I think it was like a good group of like ten or so people. <laughs> um. Of course, so got that people right. Yeah, incoming difficulty rep. Incoming. Well, hopefully less sliding puzzles. I don't know. I don't think they're a sliding puzzle YouTube group. I think they're more of the logical riddle side of things. And if that's the case, that's that's very good news for the game. But I'm sure there probably will be sliding puzzles because that's just that's it. It's not a lane game without a, at least a sliding puzzle. But I just hope there's less of them, like, or if they're gonna be there, you know, put them at the beginning and make them, like, be solvable in, like, you know, less than 20 moves. None of these, like, 30 plus move trial and error nonsense puzzles that take forever. <laughs> Alright, let's go check out this back entrance. Click with the case on Professor Yo. Thank you, Raccoon Dog. Happy Friday. Nice to see you again. 69 move puzzle to start the game. Nice. Hell yeah. Oh, it's Emmy's turn. Let's go, Emmy. You got this. 30 pick reduce on the factory door. You have the key to this door's lock, but there doesn't seem to be a keyhole. <gasps> In fact, the doorknob and the buttons to the right of it move when you touch them. Maybe they form some sort of combination lock, but then what's the key for? Tap the buttons to match the key. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh. Like that. Right. Oh, wait, no, no. Like this. Right? Wait, can I make these go lower? No. Oh, wait, no, no, because they're all... Okay, never mind. Uh, yeah, I think we're good with that. Double check. Yeah. Should be it? I think I've got this one. No! <laughs> I need to look at that again. Did I do it backwards? <laughs> but the sea is facing that way. stupid if that flips over then all those flip over too right I'll handle this one professor yeah okay <laughs> whoops flipped one of them did not flip the other one okay yeah 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 okay <laughs> easy but I missed the minor detail all right let's go nine I didn't get the third coin, did I? Couldn't find where the last coin was. It's in the tree. Can't reach. Can't reach the coin. 
Oh, it's here. No. Also, I shrunk the game thing again. I keep on doing this. I think I didn't even do it at all last stream somehow. Uh, no, a bit more than that. One of these days I'll not do this. There we go. This is like one of the main reasons I really wanted to play this on my actual 3DS and not on here, but oh well. All right. Yo, the music just got real serious. Don't touch the broken glass. Too late, you can't make me. I like hearing my own echo. Oh, 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 oh. That was like real like final area vibes. Yo, there's the accordion, of course. Right on cue. I guess we're going further. I see a lever. Pull the lever! Wrong lever! These machines haven't been used in years. Yet not a spot of rust. Hmm. What? Dude, it's Jake's. Jake's went in here and he made a giant specter robot. Oh, who dis? Yo, this guy. This guy throwing hands. <laughs> Bram. Oh, it's you lot. I don't know how you got in here, but you better make a sharp exit. Uh oh. Wait, you again? Wait, we've seen them before? You need to speak with my boot again? Oh, it's one of the oh the one of the people that okay yeah, yeah. the Jake's lackeys basically. Hold on a second, no more hurt. I just wanted to give you this puzzle. <laughs> oh gosh. The four weights, thirty pickery dues. A rack contains nine identical looking weights ranging from one kilogram to nine kilograms. For four of these weights were removed from the rack and arranged side by side. Uh, one pair of side by side weights had a weight difference of eight, while two pairs had a weight difference of seven. Which weights were removed from the rack and how are they arranged? Okay, well then we know for sure that 1 and 9 are involved, right? Because 1 and 9 are, is the only way to get a difference of 8. While well, 2 pairs had a weight difference of 7. Is it not just 1, 9... Now, does the order matter? I'm assuming the order matters, right? A rack in these nine identical looking rings. Four of these weights are removed from the rack and arranged side by side. One pair of side by side weights had a weight difference of eight, while two pairs had a weight difference of seven. Yeah, so it's just like. Like this, right? What do you think about this? Hey. All right. You can't let a puzzle intimidate you. Two possible solutions. Yeah, just the same thing but backwards. <laughs> okay. How'd you manage that? Cuz I'm the professor's assistant. Oh yeah. You're very scary too. Bye. Thanks for the puzzle. Tell your mommy I said hello. Oh boy. This machine kind of looks familiar. It's a steam engine. This is the steam stuff we're going to see in the Switch game whenever that releases. Oh, two coins. Where's number three? There it is. Okay, pull the lever! A light marked with the number one lit up. Really? Well, that's interesting. Farming W's off these puzzles, heck yeah. Coin. Two. Can we maybe, hold on, maybe we wanna ha have these all on at the same time? That might be relevant. Yeah, okay, it remembers when you lift it, okay. 
I will keep that in mind. That is a lot of pipes. Did I get all three coins? I feel like I didn't. Yeah, there we go. Uh, all right, I guess we're... Oh, wait. Oh, this giant pipe is a puzzle. I can't see a thing. Need a flashlight. Dark maze. Oh, okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> These pipes make for quite a maze. Additionally, it's so dark that Lane can only see directly in front of him. Can you move Lane through the maze and lead him to the goal? Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, this way. This way. Oh, man. I can't just click. I have to drag. Can I use this as well? Oh, dang. Okay. Oh, okay, you can, hold, you can hold it. That's cool. Oh, <laughs> there's a trap here. Run. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, I see goal. I think I saw it down there. Hey, I did it. Right. Some puzzles <laughs> must be met directly. I don't know if... No puzzle is without an answer. Was that me solving it directly? I don't know. It was me just kind of holding my stylus in random directions until I got out of there. Alright, we got through. <laughs> Goosey's here. What is Goosey doing here? Dude, this guy. This Goosey guy is crazy. Oh. Well, I guess we're gonna talk to Goosey after. Crates are blocking the way. Oh no, crate sliding puzzle incoming. <laughs> Please no. Please no. Not like this. Oh, okay. That's not a sliding puzzle. Um, this crate can lift and move either one or two pieces of freight at a time. By moving freight only four times, can you get every parcel onto its corresponding switch? Oh no. Okay, this is kind of like a... It's kind of like a sliding puzzle, but it's like a bit more strict in that you have to do the minimum amount of moves. Interesting. Okay, so touch this to move the crane, touch down to pick up the crates and put them down again. Okay. They can only be lowered into an empty space. You can align the crane so it picks up two crates when you touch down. Oh, whoa. Okay, that's important. I'm glad I read that. That is extremely important. That's probably going to be required to solve this. Okay. So I'll do this in only four moves. Holy moly. Um, one. No. Wait. One. Two. Three. Oh no, that's not gonna work. How do I do this? In only four. Okay, what if I do... One. Two. Nope. <laughs> that doesn't work either. Okay, how about... Oh, if I move both those at the same time. One. Two. What? How do you do this in four? I can only do it in five. There's gotta be... There's some trick to this. What am I missing here? I get it, I get it, I get it. I think I get it. If I move that there, then that there. Oh no, it doesn't work either. Oh, wait. Okay, triangle, empty space, one. Star next to the square two. No, there's no way. Wait, how is this doable? There 
there's no way, bro. No, like every answer I've come up with is always five moves. So is there some sort of trick to this? Yeah, no moves left. Okay, what's the trick? What's the double I need to do? I may have to do two doubles. Or even three double moves. though calling repair services for my absolutely fried brain <laughs> right oh I just realized my timer what the heck my timer crashed at some point it's like it's there but my time's not moving what happened when did this crash oh no Masaka. Checking the VOD. <laughs> when did this happen? Oh dang, this is a while back. What the heck? How far back was this? Oh my god, what the heck? Okay, this was around... 5607 into the stream? That was... Four... Like 16 minutes ago? Something like that? Okay, so I'm gonna make this uh, 1150, I guess. Live split, why you do this? go fixed I guess <laughs> okay resume <laughs> so why would the bass boost sound <laughs> solution in some way. No, I have the same problem here. <laughs> what the heck? There's like so many five move solutions. Where's the four move solution in this? Definitely making losing it noises just there. <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> oh, what if I do 
star only to the far outside, then circle and triangle at the same time here. Oh my god, I'm so close! Nope, that's also not right. Okay, what if what if the trick to this is that you actually have to move the diamond? Which would which doesn't make sense in theory because the diamond is already in the right spot. So it's like why would you want to move the diamond? But maybe it's because you need to make space for some other wacky move to figure this out, right? I feel like the the meme right now. I'm like the I'm like the dog in the scientist outfit who doesn't know what they're doing right now. That's that's what I feel like right now. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Um Or or that one. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine indeed. start doing some random crap here in hopes that some miracle occurs. too much time move two parcels on your first turn and keep in mind that you don't even you don't ever need to move the diamond because it's already in place okay well that dispels that myth or line of thinking the diamond is gonna stay there the entire time move two parcels on your first turn okay well that gives me only two moves it's either circle triangle or triangle square so You would think square triangle, like the triangle square wouldn't make the most sense because it's like double wrong, but Again. Oh wait, no! I got I have it! I have it! Oh, 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 o
almost, I almost gave up on that one. <laughs> Thank you for the GG's. <laughs> yes. Now we can proceed, finally. Alright, this is number three, and... Goosey! <laughs> there may be some clues about the Spectre out here, but keep our eyes peeled. Goosey! <laughs> Goosey, what are you doing here? <laughs> Oh, Goosey. <laughs> Look at this puzzle. Alright, paint spinner. 30 out of 30. Illustrations below depict an elaborate painting contraption. Oh, God. <laughs> By rotating the center handle, you can spin this crazy thing, which has paintbrushes attached to the other side of the three prongs. Okay. Shown as the five small white rectangles in illustration 2. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, for the purposes of working out your answer, you can ignore illustration one. Then why are you showing me illustration one? Huh? If you turn this crazy contraption 90 degrees as shown by the yellow arrows, which pattern A, B, C, or D will it paint? Okay, sure. I will pretend illustration one doesn't exist. We're just looking at that second one and what it's gonna make. Okay, so we have one brush really, really, really close to the center. Um, okay, so I think right out the gate, it's not a. I th actually wait. What would that make? If it's in the dead center like that, it should make like a quarter circle, right? It should. Right? It definitely should. Okay, so no, so it's not B. B is definitely not it. Let's cross that one out. Okay, and then you got. One that's a bit further away from the center, so that's one that should make like more of a... Yeah, oh dang, I hate that the notes blocks. It blocks the other ones. Anyway, um, okay. So that one is a bit... Okay, so that one should be less than 180 degrees away from it. If this is the starting point, then the starting point would be here. So this looks right. Um, that also looks right. And that also looks right. They all look good to me for the first two. Okay, so now I have to look further now. Now the next one. Okay, what about the one on the same one as this? That's all the way out at the end. So that's correct. That's correct. Oh, this... Looks slightly off. So I think it's not D unless it's like drawn a little bit weirdly. This one's like, it's reaching out a bit further than where this is pointing. So I'm gonna say it's not D. Assuming that the drawings are accurate. Oh wait, why is this one so small? Oh, it's C then. It's gotta be C. I think it's C. Some puzzles must be met directly. <sighs> okay. A gentleman leaves no puzzle undone. Not sure who would want anything painted by this crazy thing, but whatever, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> that emote. Hat Pog. Oh, Goosey's got some info. People going in and out of this factory are fishy. Really fishy. Even fishier than me or fish. <laughs> Goosey, I wouldn't say that you are all that fishy. I never heard them talking about which part of town will be hit next by the specter. Oh, what? 
I didn't stick out that time. Who knows what they'd have done if they found Goosey. <laughs> what if Goosey's lying? Goosey's sus. Yo, who's this guy? Who's this little chap? Oh, I gotta get the coins. It's another steam mobile. Coin number two. Oh, whoops, no. found it <laughs> okay chief engineer who are you how did you get in here off oh, fooey what do i care anyway i'm just no full force against my will to making walk of trashes for a bunch of crooks say what machines that shoot great plumes of smoke into the air machines that crawl on many legs you mean like a fog machine and machines that do- uh, I mean machines that do boring everyday stuff like make toast, you know, toast machines. <laughs> I've been sworn to silence, don't tell a soul. Uh-huh. Secret plan. Saw this puzzle so I know I can trust you. You're not getting any more out of me until then. Okay. Engine parts. Oh. I think there was a puzzle like this in the last one I played. You have to like connect them. Uh, six loose parts of a steam engine here. See if you can fit them together to complete the engine. You need to use all of the parts to succeed. Here's a tip. Don't be too flat with your thinking. Okay, so you're saying I can like stack them on top of each other? Okay, I'm assuming I can rotate as well. I can. Okay. Can I flip? I cannot flip. Okay. Um... All right, we got some pluses and minuses up in here. Um, what's with this like border too? Do I do I have to like follow precisely this border to a T? thrown off by that. I wish I had more space to move my stuff around because I can't really tell what I'm doing. Why is there a... This might take me a while as well. That connects pretty solidly. Okay, that looks promising. That's not right. Uh, doesn't make a nice square. That's why they're saying, like, don't be too flat. Then how do I make them connect?
I feel like this dove definitely does connect with it though, doesn't it? That looks like it fits. Yeah. All this looks correct so far. So what am I doing wrong with this one to make it so incorrect? And how do you, how do these things rectify that? I don't really understand. So this, oh, okay, that would probably go in like the center. And where does this last one go? this missing line <laughs> coming from maybe move these over wait no that one's the one that's doing that so then this one This one's out of place. Though. Oh, I see the plus sign on this one. Oh wait, no, that's the. Never mind. <laughs> um. Instead of that, this one goes up there. Oh, wait, yeah, that looks better. I'm still confused on this line though. What is making this line? Go together next. Does it seem as though you have too many parts to fit in the frame? You need to think of how to put this engine together in three dimensions. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. actually constructed in tiers there are four parts on the bottom tier and two parts in the top tier that's what i'm doing the battery like these things go top and those go bottom right but how do i how do i like cover this up and make this fit Alright, super hint it is. 
The two parts that form the top tier fit into a perfect 5x5 five five square. If you combine all the parts on the bottom, the square will become apparent. This should complete the engine. I have this already though. The two parts that form the top tier fit into a perfect 5x5 five five square. If you combine all the parts on the bottom, the square will become apparent. So I'm doing something wrong with this. See, this is longer. So that means... What if I reverse these two? Oops, no. Oh, there we go. Okay, whoops. Okay. <laughs> this took some creative thinking. Derp, 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 derp. No puzzle is without an answer. GG, thank you. <laughs> My beautiful steam car. That was impressive. I used to be. I used to be impressive. I used to be the boss of this place. Oh. No other knows of says this guy tell you that it's used to make steam machines. That's exactly what we're not doing here. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> the buttons operates it, nor I'll even hint about what lies through the opening in the subway line. Oh my god. <laughs> Who are you? How'd you get here? There's nothing here. Get out. Okay. Uh Wait, how do I proceed now? Door appears to be locked. Wait, what? The power button is on the side of the pressing machine. That's not the button? Whoops. Oh wait, the button on the right side. This one? Ah. Very build stop, we can go through. Let's go. Uh oh. Puzzle on the ground. Big gap in the floor. Too far to jump over for us. We could drop the metal sheet that's hanging up there. If destroy the pillars and support it, it should fall. Looks like it'll take more than a swift roundhouse kick to bring those pillars down. Try using one of these. Oh. Dynamite? What are we doing? Uh, you can't proceed because of a large gap here. Drop the metal sheet hanging above the gap to make a bridge. Try different combinations of the dyna- Oh, there you go, yeah, dynamite sticks. Uh, of differing strength to destroy the four pillars holding up the metal sheet. Match the sticks to the appropriate pillar. For each match, you'll see a crack in the pillars. Place the dynamite and push the red button when you're ready. Use the stuff to attach dynamite sticks to the pillars. Once the stick has been attached, push the red button and then your dynamite. Okay. Each stick of correctly placed dynamite will leave a crack in the pillar. Okay. Oh, it's like, oh, it's that game. It's the, uh, what do you call it? Mastermind or whatever it is. Because there's a bunch of different names of names for it, but yeah, okay. Is that zero cracks? I got none right there. Okay, so let's reverse them. Wow, all wrong both times? Damn, dude. Okay. <laughs> I'll handle this one, Professor. <laughs> uh, okay. I did it, Professor. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done that before. Like, all wrong first try, all wrong second try, all four right third try. What the heck? <laughs> what indeed, dude. You what, mate? That is wild. The odds of that are insane. Okay. There's five lights. Let us in. 
door won't budge. Something written up there? It says one times three times five. Oh man, that's so difficult. Maybe a hint for opening the door. Let's search the factory again for any other clues. Oh, what if it's basically just don't light up um, two and four, basically? So... Goosey's still there. gonna be remove the three as well so it spells out 15 I guess but yeah <laughs> what is that that beast is the infamous Spectre what everything's ready you sure you want to go why of course I wouldn't miss it for the world I have been waiting patiently for the perfect moment to make my grand entrance. The final act belongs to me. Herschel Layton, I hope you are prepared to play your part. <laughs> are we finally gonna meet this guy? Oh. Alright. Last chapter, I think. A legend revealed. Oh boy, him. It is him. He is him. Let's go save Ariana, Professor. Where do we start? I'd probably head back to the police station. Okay. Those footsteps. Finch, you got a puzzle for us now? Nope. Okay. I say that both about Mystery Man and also I have seen a catchy, pleasant boy. <laughs> nice. Perfect. Oh. Mousy. I got 15. Oh. Crow. Incoming. They got Ariana in the plaza. I don't know what's about to go down, but it doesn't look good. Uh oh. Quickly. We'll take care of all the stuff in Tony's note. You get to the plaza. Okay. But first, let's go fight some mice. Not fight, but you know, tap, tap some mice. But what are the, like, what, what are my badges for? Like, I thought he cared about the badges. I have 15. Does that, like, do anything to this? Huh. Never mind. Okay. Ariana... The plaza? I think the boat would take me there quicker. Uh, here, I guess? Oh, actually, it might be... Is it further north than this? I think maybe the one more north would, would have made more sense, but... Whatever, it's okay. Wait. Oh, it, it worked out. There's people on the way that have puzzles. Hugo, I'm not walking around aimlessly. Cat catcher. Oh, snap. Another cat puzzle. A naughty tomcat has been causing trouble all over town. Now he's in spot B. Hiding from his owner, who's trying her best to track him down. Okay. The owner starts at spot A, but after she moves, the cat jumps to an adjacent spot. If the owner plans her route well, she'll be able to catch the cat on her fourth move. Oh, it's like the, um, the, well, there's like two games that have this in the Pokemon games. The, the Farfetch puzzle in Gen 2 and the Fufu puzzle in Gen 6. We have to like trap the, the Pokemon. <laughs> it's kind of like that. Um, 
So what path she, should she follow for her first three moves? Okay. So how does this work? I have to like drag, circle. Oh, I have to answer. I have to say letter, 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 basically. Okay. Um, so they're starting at B and we want to trap the kitty. Does the cat, ha can the cat go back to the same spot? It just says to an adjacent spot, it doesn't say anything about not being able to go back to a previous letter. There really is a way to like trap it for like guaranteed? she moves oh okay wait a minute okay that changes things a little bit not by much though but it does it does kind of change things make a triangle basically so e f a uh. what or do you think about this f e a also works i think that puzzle was no problem yeah Puzzle one hundo. <laughs> Don't hurt him, Emmy. <laughs> yes, hurt him. Oh, I love I like this song. This is like this is the song when you know you gotta solve like the multiple choice questions. <laughs> or just like some other like different kind of puzzle. I like these. Do exactly as I say. Okay, here we go. Meet me in the Grand Plaza. What's this? <gasps> Lucia! Yeah, let her go. Lucia didn't do anything. That's what all you monsters say. I didn't do anything. I don't see any other monsters who could smash buildings, do you? But... And you kept it going by playing that cursed flute of yours. No, that's... Oh, who would have thought this child would destroy a town? Appearances can be deceiving, but deceiving appearances can also be deceiving. Ain't nothing deceiving about the appearance of this witch. 
Wow. I didn't do anything. Stop right there, Jakes. Here's the professor. I've got another cell with your name on it late, and this time I'll be watching you. Lucia is not the specter. This huge blob of blubber is the specter. Case closed. No. Your third eye fails you, Jakes. Lucia was only part of what you perceived to be the specter. It's really too bad this will be your first unsolved case. Oh, snap. I don't have unsolved cases. What are you talking about, Leighton? I think it's time we got a full look at the real specter. Oh, snap. The big reveal. It's the obelisk. Miss Tallery, I now give you the specter. <laughs> oh, Luke's driving it. <laughs> He's forklift certified. <laughs> Look at it. Oh my god. <laughs> this is an excavating machine. It's used to dig up artifacts. Very impressive. I see. So they they use that in combination with the fog machine. And then you can't really see what it is except for the you know, the vague outline and the red eyes. A digger, eh? I'll bet I could take that thing. <laughs> Luke, you've done a fine job. Thank you, Professor. Someone built this machine to dig up the Golden Garden. The rumors of its existence here in Miss Tallery were too tempting. This machine was searching for the entrance to the Golden Garden as it dug up various parts of town. These repeated excavations slowly weakened the land, resulting in the sinkholes we observed. Mm -hmm. Lucia wasn't attacking the town. She was trying to stop this machine. The specter that everyone saw was Lucia battling the machine. Behind the thick fog, the two appeared to be a single entity rampaging through the town. Oh, interesting. The fog was a man-made creation. This was key to understanding the true nature of the Spectre. The perpetrator produced thick fog to hide his tracks and was then able to dig anywhere in town. What's this about a man-made fog? <laughs> Creating fog requires quite a bit of water. Our suspect used water from the canals to make the fog. Mm. Lucia sensed this disturbance and attacked the machine. The fog completely obscured their battle. Is this a joke? A gentleman rarely resorts to punchlines. <laughs> Luke here noted that the water levels in the canals dropped whenever the specter appeared. It was then that I realized that this specter could not be the specter of legend. Someone was clearly taking advantage of the folk tale. Mm hmm. They're double solved mystery. Okay. Hmm. Quite an interesting revelation. <laughs> However, the question stands. What evil mastermind could be behind such a thing? The final question. It was someone drawn by the lure of the Golden Garden. Jake's a and Mystery Man. To destroy the town to satisfy a lust for personal glory. Someone who now stands among us. Among us. The same person is responsible for spreading lies about the Spectre all over town. Oh, and this guy. Yeah, the and father. That person is you. <gasps> oh. What? Dolan. There must be some sort of mistake, <laughs> Mr. Layton. I'm just a butler. How on earth could I have done any of this? <laughs> you kidnapped Mrs. Triton and threatened to harm her if Clark didn't keep quiet about your plot. What the heck? Of all the people, this guy? There are so many people to be sus about, and it's this guy? He wasn't even on my radar. <laughs> Leighton, you're crazy. He. <laughs> With Clark under your thumb, you are free to do as you pleased in town. And you, Chief Jakes, you were Dolan's accomplice all along. You two hatched this plot, hoping to unearth <laughs> the Golden Garden. Layton! Layton! Quite amusing, Mr. Layton. However, I'm sorry to say I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm delighted you find humor in this. I, however, do not. Allow me to explain. Oh. Well, well, well by all means. Luke noticed the low water levels I mentioned earlier. He recorded all the data in his notebook. But 
As it happens, some of his entries turned out to be incorrect. These were mistakes made by his source of information. A certain informant, we'll call him. The mouse. <laughs> Squeak! However, even when Luke's predictions were wrong, residents were still evacuated from the neighborhoods where the specter appeared. Isn't that odd? I find that odd. <laughs> Doland, do you find that odd? I will take that as a yes. <laughs> you see, Doland, even without Luke's predictions, you knew when and where the specter would strike. You warned the residents not for their safety, but so they would not see what the specter really was. Um. That is why you passed along Luke's warnings in the first place. And that also, like, I haven't really thought about it until now, but that also explains why they, they're never striking the same place twice, because they're looking for the Golden Garden, right? So, obviously, they're not going to strike a spot that didn't have it again. You certainly do not disappoint. Congratulations. That was truly Leighton-esque. <laughs> Professor, just like you said, I found them in Mr. Triton's cellar. Oh, no. Dolan and Mrs. Triton were being held captive down there. Wait, there's a there's another Dolan. <laughs> there's a second Dolan. <laughs> Don Paolo, he's back. I freed them from the cellar <laughs> and took them to safety. Okay, so it wasn't it wasn't the father. But what if it's both of them? It's both. It's Don Paolo and the mystery man both being doppelgangers. Yeah, where's the real father? <laughs> or is the father being brainwashed? It is clear enough By this that you're not Doland Noble, the Triton family's faithful butler. So tell us who you really are. Is it really going to be Doc Paolo? You are correct, Professor Layton. It's time to end this charade. Charade. <gasps> oh, this guy. Oh, this is bad. Yeah. <laughs> this is so bad. You said we wouldn't get caught. I think I know who this is now. What an ugly little man you are. Oh. And Jake, you killed Mr. Bard, didn't you? Oh. Papa! No, no, I'll just change the will. Bard's death was an accident. I'll just make everything go to clock. I forged the will, sure, but only because he told me to. Oh, is that why? Apparently, I made a pact with a small-minded dullard. How <laughs> truly unfortunate. <laughs> Yippee, I love him so much. Also, Steve goes so hard. <laughs> yeah. Why did you just call me? A dullard, a fool, a nitwit. Later, your intellect is formidable. I have truly enjoyed this. You have us at a disadvantage. Indeed. My name is Descore. I am an artistic man of science with rather lofty goals. Descore. Yep. Descore? It really is a pity. I had high hopes that the Golden Garden was here. It was all such a waste of time. And this meaningless town. I'll have my fun by destroying it. Oh no. Oh yeah, there's multiple of these digging machines. Oh my goodness. Run! Oh poor Lucia. Get Lucia out of there. Oh my gosh. He's also forklift certified. Oh, Lucia's free! Quickly, everybody! This way! Yeah, save, save Ariana. Good, good, good. <laughs> okay. Let's go, Lucia! Oh, <laughs> poor thing. Well, now. I believe the time has come. What's happening? They're gonna fusion dance, make a giant one? Yeah. <laughs> Shoot. 
Holy crap. Lucia versus Turbo Digger. Boom. I do believe that most people are in for a treat. The Spectre was but a prologue. Now for the grand finale. No! This poor thing! We have to stop him, yes! What should we do? I must stop the machine. You two get everyone to safety. No way, as your assistant, I can't face danger alone. Same here. I'm not leaving. I can help you stop the machine. We don't have time to debate this. If I can take out its legs, we can stop it? Yeah! Kick it. Kick the legs. Emmy! I'll have Lucian distracted while Emmy goes for its legs. Luke, no! I can't let this happen in my hometown, Professor. And Lucia feels the same way. Well, alright then. Crow, we need your help. I got the note from Tony. Pretty impressive how you figured all this out, Prof. Congratulate me, Leader. I need your help right now. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Look at all these. Where do we go? Final battle. Let's have Lucia. Can I pet, pet the Lucia? <laughs> okay. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna do a save here again, just in case. Emmy save file. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna start with left one. Oh, they all have a puzzle on each of them? It's almost like a spider. It gives me chills just looking at it. Yeah. Wire cutter. Oh no, which wire? Oh no! <laughs> Why is this compartment protected by hardened glass? The only access is via a small maintenance window or via a small maintenance window, which you can reach and cut through wires. If you cut the connection between terminal A and F, the machine will come to a halt. Cutting the wrong wire, however, may cause the machine to move even faster. Which of the wires should you cut? Yeah, cut the green wire! <laughs> okay, um... Which one? Well... Uh, okay, so the one that connects A to F... Oh, dang it, dude. It branches off here. I hate this. Okay, so hold on. We have a branch over here. Okay, so here's one connection. Let's keep it going. Another fork over here. That does connect to F, though. So this one looks like the right answer right away. Oh wait, but this, this one also connects to here? But where, where does the other side go? Oh, that connects to here too. Wait, what? And how do I do this without... sure I understand because of the branching paths. If I go this way, it's just gonna lead me back to where I was. What if the answer is like neither of these and you just hit the middle one? there. I don't know which one. And I 
<laughs> yeah, just just follow the wire. But there's two. There's two of them that work. Let me retrace my steps again. See, it gets to here. Then there's a duplicate. There's a duplicate branching path thing here. If I go this way, it leads to here. And then we keep on going. And then this eventually leads to another fork. And then that does lead to the, the F here. But now the problem is if we go the other way over here, this one leads to this one instead. And then it continues and then it loops back to here as well. Like, if we cut this one, like, it'd still be able to access it through the other path, right? splits as a fail save carefully follow the wire to find where it splits I, I, I know these already you have to cut all the paths that lead from terminal a to f don't believe you've got the answer if you've only found one. Oh wait so can you actually hit two? Oh god damn it oh which of the wires I guess it doesn't say which one of the wires I think I've got this one I did all that I was uh, so worried when the answer was just both Quite tough. No, I was just confused. I thought I'd like to break one of them. Okay, one leg done. Next. Which switch is which? Okay, yeah, well, I can deal with switches. Emergency stop. In order to stop the machine, you need to press these buttons to shut down the power. The lights on top show which circuits are still receiving power. When you press up button, it will switch the state of the light it's connected to, as well as any adjacent lights. So lights that are on will go off and vice versa. Quick, work out which button controls each light and turn them all off. Okay. Okay, this is a, a kind of a tricky puzzle. Okay, so A... Okay, so A hits 2. B hits 3. Oops, no, no, no. C hits four, five. Okay, so it's basically just four, five, one. Yeah, okay, so now I have to turn these all off. Um, how can I do that? Let's see. No, not this. Oh, there we go. And four would be this one. Okay. I'll handle this one, Professor. That puzzle was no problem. Oh man, I reached 30 pick redos. Nice. Okay, next. That was a lot quicker. How's Luke doing? Squeak! <laughs> Lucia, are you okay? Oh, it's so cute! Whee! The thing is closing in for an attack. Dodge in the direction I tell you, okay? Qua! <laughs> Qua's <-saw! laughs> The next attack. 65 pick reduce! Oh no. <laughs> He's on Lucia! <laughs> the last 15 of the digging machine's attacks have been analyzed. The image below shows the spots where the attacks fell, and they've been marked with the number of the attack. There seems to be a definite pattern here. Can you tell where the next attack will occur? Touch the space you think is next. So it's gonna like re-attack a certain square again? Oh, I see, okay. 
So there's a pattern. What is the pattern? Oh, I see the pattern already. Okay, the answer is... I believe the answer is gonna be this. You know, I'm just gonna YOLO this. I'm not even gonna do my- this I'm not even gonna I do the double with. checking. I'm just gonna YOLO it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I knew I could do it. It's basically just you move a square, then you move two squares, then you move three squares, and since it's a 16 grid, it's just gonna go back to the same square. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Next. Whee! <laughs> oh, Lucia. Hope oh, Emmy's okay. Yeah, Emmy's well, doing great. Disable that thing while Luke and Lucia distract it. Okay. The red connection. Oh boy. According to the warnings on this device, the two red terminals on the top panel need to be connected to stop the device. However, unless all four connectors on each block are connected to a connector or terminal of the same color, the emergency stop function will not work. <laughs> unless all four connectors on each block are connected to a connector or terminal of the same color, the emergency stop function will not function. Okay. Uh, are these rotatable? They are, okay. Um, so I need a red, blue. Uh, this one. Uh, yellow, blue. Is there a pure green? No, okay, so it's not that one. Yellow, blue. Yellow, blue. Uh, red, green. Red, green. No, it's not that one. Actually... Oh, you know what? It doesn't have to be connected that way. I could bring it down instead, right? Yeah, okay. Let's actually just focus on... Well, before I do... I should just do the corners first, to be honest. Okay, so... Green. Oh, actually, they don't have to. Oh, this is so weird. Oh, this is crazy. Like, this could be done in so many different ways. Like, you can also, like, connect it, like, like from this one to this one, like, in a U-shape, right? Oh, this is trippy. This is very weird. There's a lot of ways to solve this kind of puzzle. Oh, wait, there's letters on them. Does, is that relevant anyway? I'm assuming no? And just to know where they came from down here, I guess. Uh... Cause I, like, this could be like red-green this way, right? And this could be like yellow-blue, like that, but... See, there you go. See, like that connects a blue, and there's a green, and then here. We need to go red green, or we can do a lot of things from here. But that seems fine. Is there a blue red? No, it doesn't work. Okay, so skip on that one. Is there another green red that fits there? No, okay. What if instead we do. That's not gonna work. Damn, this is difficult.
connecting here I don't there's no I, there's nothing that has like two blues on it now that I've left dang dude That's interesting about this. There's not a single yellow terminal at all. So like the yellows are the ones that are, are meant to connect the inter, like the the ones that connect between like the middle ones. So I have to focus really hard on making the yellow ones the the middle connections because that's just what I'm gonna have to do by default. same problem here now, right? Oh wait, maybe not. Uh... Oh man, I think I'm close. Green. Oh, but I need a green here. Oh, wait. Are we good? Green, blue. Yes! I think that's it, right? Blue, yellow, green. red connectors are the two red ones are connected via their own path and then these are all connected okay cool yeah that should be it Whew. i think i've got this one oh I hello there uh kitty loves you tabby is green and blue and blue green gotcha yeah oh thank you for the 10 bits as well and the follow appreciate it welcome in yeah, refrain from giving any hints. That's why I wasn't reading chat just to be safe. But uh, yeah, welcome in. Thank you for the ten biddies. We're at, we're we're at the end here. We're we're taking down Descale and his digging machine. One last leg. Let's go. 
Enigma machine. Oh dear. What is this? The switchboard has an emergency shutdown feature. Apparently all I have to do is press the button mark with the symbol that should appear in place of the question mark. The symbols are arranged according to a certain rule, so which button is it? Okay, let's see. Um, whoa, this is, this is very trippy. Okay, I'm I'm already seeing some sort of pattern. I believe this should be the triangle with the circle around it. Yeah, I feel pretty good about this one, I think. I'll handle this one, Professor. Yes. All right. You can't let a puzzle intimidate you. Yeah. Each of the five symbols on the Pentagon's edges is made up of two car symbols that are neither adjacent nor directly opposite. In this case, the circle and the trial symbols combined to reveal the identity of the mystery button. Yeah, exactly. I noticed it with like the th the first thing I noticed was the T and this, and then like this with this and like <laughs> I noticed like a pattern when you like move over three, you get like a thing. So I always thought it was missing a circle to combine. Yeah, anyway. Alright, cool. Salt to the professor now. Oh man. Big final puzzle moment. Crow, are you ready? Black Ravens, president, ready for duty. What do you need? Need to build something fast. Can you help me? You bet. This is our town. We're not going down without a fight. Let's go. Excellent. Now I sketched this out quickly, so it's rather rough. Oh, it's an outside puzzle. Alright, here we go. Sweet! Yo. Thanks, Rob. Hell yeah. Okay. I gotcha. Interesting. Right, this looks like a catapult to me. I need you to gather necessary parts for this. Can you do that? Take a look at my sketch here. Do you have any idea what might work for this part? Oh, okay, now the point of the specific things. Okay, uh, <laughs> Layton's hat. <laughs> um, a boat. Yeah, we got the Bucky boat. Easy peasy. Oh, we're here. We're talking to all the kids. Nice. Something that work for this. A ladder. Oh, actually, mm, it could be the bridge too. The thing is, it'd probably be really hard to get a bridge quickly to make this work, right? Oh, plus it would be like rickety. I think the ladder would probably be more sturdy in this case. Okay. Want the police station? Tweeds! I'm the dumpster boy. The base. Um. <laughs> tweeds! <laughs> I want to answer Tweeds so badly. <laughs> Uh, uh, house beams? What about what if you use the house beams from uh, Brock's house? The guy who keeps on laughing. Nice. Okay. Yeah, the wrecked house. Exactly. Hey, Brock. <laughs> this guy. I right, know these two. Nabby. Oh, the arch. Oh, 
No, okay. Well, the arch is already destroyed. A broomstick. Grandfather clock. A shop sign. Is there a shop sign shaped like that? Oh, I mean, like, you just take that, the, the frame of the... Yeah, 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 never mind. That should work. I just fell off the break bakery. There we go. Okay. Certainly hope this works. All right, here we go. But now, what are we catapulting to them? Thank you for your help. We're the ones who should be thanking you. We're gonna take out the specter. Let's go. Defeat it right here, right now. Right here, right now. Oh, I mean, Luca keeping that thing busy must prepare our attack. Okay. Layton's catapult puzzle. Oh my goodness, what? You begin assembling a catapult from the pieces, but it isn't clear how the parts fit together. Part A will be placed exactly as shown below, with no rotation. But how do the other parts fit in? Any of those can be rotated. When you have the answer, draw a line from the circle beside parts B, C, and D to the corresponding X in the diagram. Oh my goodness, okay. So A slots in first, okay. Okay, so B is another one that has a hole, so does C. So D, I imagine D is the last thing that slots in, which is hilarious that that's the case, but anyway. <laughs> Getting the mind out of the gutter. Um, so there's one row like that, okay. I would imagine D is the one that goes top to bottom, and then B and C are the ones that like, are perpendicular with it, right? So it's just a matter of which one goes here, which one goes here. So this is, okay, this is lower. I feel like C would go here, but hold on, let me make sure. Oh yeah, so we need these to also make like a square, right? But these can be rotated, so it doesn't really matter, right? Does it really matter? I don't think it matters. I think as long as B and C are on the bottom and D is top, it should just work. I'm trying to see why it would matter that B and C are in the right spot here, but I don't see it. Oh wait, no, I do see it. No, yeah, yeah, yeah no, B has to be uh, opposite A. There, like that. A challenging puzzle, to be sure. Okay. A gentleman leaves no puzzle undone. Heck yeah, exactly. You make like a square and then you slot it in. All right, here we go. Ready, Luke. Oh my God, is that a bunch of rocks in there? <laughs> Let's go, Lucia. <laughs> Lucia looks so angry. It's moving so slowly, too. This is so funny. They have yet to give up. Such admirable tenacity. Yo, it's a title screen music, by the way. I love it. <laughs> the slide. Boom. Direct hit! That was amazing, Professor! Is that it? Doubtful. <laughs> doubtful. Very doubtful. Now we have <gasps> ten more puzzles to do. Oh, are, they, are they just gonna rebuild? Oh my goodness, seriously. Well, Pessa, any other ideas? Oh, they're taking parts of the catapult. Uh-oh. Yeet! Oh my god. <laughs> Run, Lucia! What are they doing? Oh. Tearing down the wall. 
Why are they trying to do this? All oh, the noises, this poor thing. What's it doing? It <laughs> wasn't doing. Oh, I get it. Come on, guys. We've got to help. What should we do? Break down the floodgate. Oh, to drown it? To protect the town. Huh? Just trust me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Grabby hands. Do you hear something? What is it? It's water. Water. Hurry, run. Huh? <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> the slide. Lucia slide. Save the town! Great work, Lucia! That is one helpful sea creature. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lucia's the best. Fortune favored you today. <sighs> Savor this victory, late. Only certain defeat lies in your future. I'm having a cookie. Witnessing your downfall will be delicious. Just like this cookie. Impossible! The professor will never lose to the likes of you! Such spirit in this one. Leighton, soon you will see that you cannot defeat me. But I believe that is for another time. <laughs> Descolet. Descolet. I'm sure I've seen him somewhere before, but I can't quite remember where. Descolet. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so now we're just missing the Golden Garden mystery. Alright, epilogue time. Here we go. New episodes. Missed four puzzles. Watermelon bounce. Oh, Lucia, look at it. You won't be able to see from this point forward. Is that okay? Oh God, no. Hold up. Um, okay, wait. Okay, so I can always reload the save to do other stuff, I guess. Is talking to them change anything? Thank you for helping us. If anything comes down, I apologize to everyone in town for leaving marks on their houses. Yeah. They'll forgive you. What about Ariana? We defeated the Spectre! Yeah! Thank you, Luke. I'm so happy Lucia was here with me. Yay! Yes. Okay, here I guess we're gonna we're gonna do it then. All right. Whoa, Lucia. Uh oh, what happened? Is it gonna run away? It's gonna go back to the ocean and disappear. Into the sunset. Oh, what? Why? Oh, is this where the Golden Garden's gonna be? What are you doing? What's wrong, Lucia? It's all over. We won. Oh my God! Please don't hurt yourself. Ariana, the flute. Yeah, oh. calm it down. Stop 
it. It was just one tough trooper for real. It's not working. Oh no. He's really Stop determined. The entire town will be flooded, oh. Oh no. I don't want to be your friend anymore. You hear me? Oh. No. That's so sad. Please stop. Why won't you listen? What do you want? What are you trying to do? That turn around. What? She said there's no time. No time? What's that supposed to mean? Boom. There we go. Get back. The gate is giving way. Get to higher ground, everyone. Oh, jeez. Ship disappears. I mean, I'm assuming this is the Golden Garden here. What is that? Oh. What is this? <laughs> is that? It looks like an entrance of some sort. Professor, how on earth can we get it open? Oh, another puzzle. Here we go. All right, ancient crest. I guess this is the last one. All right, your only clue to the meaning behind this elegant crest is the accompanying poem. O oh, traveler to paradise, the winged sleepers yearn to dance. Only by touching the four fruits can you awaken them. Bird of illusion, raise your beak high, and so you shall lead our traveler into sun-kissed paradise. Okay, um... Oh, I just deactivated this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, wait, so... By touching the four fruits, can you awaken them? Traveler into Sunkissed Paradise. Puzzle! Yo, what's up, Welsh? Welcome in. Happy Friday. Maybe just click the things that they're looking at now, maybe? Nope. <laughs> uh... Oh! I can rotate them. Oh! Okay, wait. Raise your beak high. Okay, so like up here... Uh... Okay, they probably make a shape out of this. Uh... There we go, I see it. There, bird. The inside bird is raising their beak this high. Took some creative thinking. Whoa. Wow. All right, that was pretty cool. No puzzle is without an answer. Correct, the crest swings back to reveal a mysterious passage. Oh, 
snap. And then we're rich! Gold! Fascinating. Why is this here? That's not the question. The question is, where does it lead? And how did Lucia know? And they're following us! <laughs> Weep! This is the Ocarina of Time, Big Zora King. Weep! Weep! <laughs> Whoa! I love how like nothing is gold in here at all. <laughs> it's very pretty, but for the name being called Golden Garden, sure is a lack of gold here. Dude, it's it's area zero. The crystals, where's the where are the moths? Oh, Ariana's freaking out. The air here is untouched. As Emmy said, it is pure. Its properties may be able to cure your illness. <gasps> oh, yay! Oh, this is amazing. I think Lucia knew this. She lit around here in order to cure her. Oh my god, Lucia's the best! Lucia's the best character ever! If this guy found this place first, that would not have been possible. Oh no. Lucia opposed Escalade at every turn, trying to stop him from discovering this paradise, and she did it all to help cure Ariana of her illness. Damn. That's crazy. Wow, yeah, wow indeed. Wait. Oh no, Lucia! Please just, just, just rest. Okay, they're not dead. Good. They cannot die. That'd be the worst. Lucia's the goat, indeed. Oh. No. Don't. No. You can't do this. No. You're not dead. Yeah, the magical anime tears will save you. That's the worst. What the heck is this? Sacrificed her own life to be sure that yours would be saved. It's not fair. Did you hear what she said? What? I understood it. Lucia said thank you to you both. No. <laughs> Damn, dude. That's so sad. We only got to see them for like a single chapter. <laughs> I guess it was like two, but still. We just met them today. <laughs> well, now what? Time <laughs> stands still down here in this ancient paradise. Lucia must have been born here. I imagine she lost her parents while still young. It must have been lonely being the last of her kind. So she ventured out through the tunnels into the lake where she met Ariana and Tony. She needed friends after her parents died. So did we. It's true. Lucia came to visit us often. We 
were lonely as well. We only had each other. Our father made a fortune on the backs of the townspeople. And after he died, nobody would come anywhere near us. The two of us were on our own. We were all on our own. Well, now what? But that's not true, Ariana. We were all worried about you. Please, give us another chance. Luke, if you do that for me, I will do the same for you. Aww. I used my illness as an excuse to close myself off from the world. I see that now. The people in town didn't push me away. It was my own doing. When you feel better, you'll be able to open yourself up again. The whole town will be waiting for you. I think Lucia knew that somehow. Lucia just... She just wanted you to be happy again. She knew that we all need other people in our lives. Lucia was the last of her kind. Loneliness was all she knew. But she wasn't alone when she was with you. That's why she said thank you. Now it's my turn. Huh? Thank you, Lucia. Oh no. The flute is gonna bring him back to life. As Ariana played her flute, I felt a warm no. breeze against my cheek. Even the trees seemed to honor the moment, and we found ourselves simply awestruck by the beauty of it all. It was a moment we would never forget. In the short time we had known her, Ariana had grown so much, and she could once again open her heart to those who cared for her. It was beautiful. Looks like it's all over, Professor. So who do we alert first? I mean, we discovered the Golden Garden. No, Emmy. We must keep this yeah. place a secret. What? At least, until Ariana recovers. Mm -hmm. That's a bit of a shame. Clearly, something like this. This could launch your career. You'll mm. be in all the newspapers. Wouldn't that be great, Professor? <laughs> I suppose so. But don't worry, Emmy. I doubt this will be the last mystery we solve. There are countless puzzles out there in the world. Mm -hmm. And I will solve as many of them as I can. Someday I will solve that great puzzle meant only for me. Oh. Professor? Hmm? Please, sir. Let me go with you. I can learn from you. Please. This is how they became. I can be Professor Legend's apprentice. Forever <laughs> apprentices. The origin story. Amazing. <laughs> He's so determined. Credits? Hey, there we go. Lucia! No! Oh, look, it's so tiny! Is that when it was a little baby? No way. Or is that just like a plushie? <laughs> okay, no, it definitely was when it was a baby and it grew super huge. Dang, dude. What a sad ending. Well, it's like sad, but also happy. I mean, like, hooray, Ariana's gonna live now. That's awesome, but... Lucia! <laughs> no! <laughs> That's crazy. Thank you for the GG, Raccoon Dog. Thank you, Rob, as well. Damn, do all the cases this on Choppy Fields mobs on you? That's kind of what it feels like. That's pretty much what happened, yeah. I mean, like, 3 was, like, really... Really, it feels bomb-heavy as well. I guess since 3, they're just like, you know what, we're gonna have to keep this a regular thing now. Um... Yeah, I guess we'll see. The only one left of these, like, main 6 I haven't done is the 6th one now. Azrin Legacy, and that I do have... on my shelf, and that should be... Feasible off my 3DS, so that'll be cool to finally play one properly on hardware. Uh, I just need to... I need to review what happens in Miracle Mask again, because I played that so long ago. I kind of played the games, like, in a very strange order. <laughs> the order I played was... I started with 3, which was, like, a big mistake, I think. But I did 3, then 1, then... Five, which is Miracle Mask, and then two, and then I replayed three, 
Like two and three were on stream last year. So now I just did four. Uh, now I need to re rewatch what happens in five or reread what happens in five and then and play six, which I don't know when that'll be. I'll either do it next year like I did last time, like <laughs> play the a late game every April. Or I might do it a bit sooner than that. Considering the new game is gonna be coming out soon, right? So maybe I'll maybe I'll do it every half year, so maybe in you know, I don't know, in the fall or something this year I'll come back and I'll I'll play Azrin Legacy. And then whenever I have time the the Catriel game at some point, either after or before the new one comes out. Miracle Mass actually was your first lane? Oh, gotcha. Nice. See, at, le at least playing through... Like... The, the 4, 5, or 6 first is, like, kind of nice, because it's, like, the prequel trilogy. So, like, at least... You're almost following the order, like, of the story, I guess. Like, the chronological order. But, yeah. <laughs> I mean, at the very least, the stories are pretty, pretty self-contained, but there's a lot of, like, uh, a lot of re-recurring and connecting stuff you miss out on, for sure. <laughs> Trying on the Raven outfit, nice. Emmy was a really cool character, too. I don't know if we... Was she? Wait. <laughs> Was Emmy in Miracle Masks? I don't remember that, to be honest. Uh, Professor Layton, Emmy, Altava. Oh, apparently she's in Azure Legacy. That might have been a spoiler or not. Oh, she's in Miracle Mask too, apparently. Yeah, I definitely need to re- I need to see what happens in Miracle Mask in this so long. I could also just replay it, but I don't know. I kinda... It wasn't that long ago that I played it. Whereas like 3... 3 was a long... Like 3 was like over a decade ago. Miracle Mask was at least within the last like... 5 years or so, so... And I don't have as much time these days to re be replaying games, so... Need to save that time to play new games. Lucia! Developed by level 5. Heck yeah, level 5. Let's go. Level 5 making such an insane comeback this year with all the stuff they announced. New Layton, new fantasy life, deck of police looks sweet, even the soccer game, a football game, Inazuma. Oh, Lucia, no, look, it's so happy. Oh, man, my heart. Lucia, the end. Ah, oh, goddammit, game indeed. Oh, post credits cutscene. Clark and real Doland and Mommy Triton. Are you ready to go? Almost. Just let me say goodbye to my friends. Oh, he's gonna go to London. Oh, Ariana. Come with. Are you nervous? Mm-hmm. I'm going to be okay. Hug. Thank you. I knew you would. You were right. Everyone in town has been so nice to me. Yay. I'm so to be surrounded by friends again. That's great. Will I see you again? Well... I think so. You have to. I mean, of course you will. Handshake. You know? uh, uh, oh. oh, kiss! <laughs> Cute. I didn't say now kiss because they're just kids. But, well, there you go. <laughs> At least it was on the cheek. Cute. I didn't know that, like, they were good. <laughs> that Luke's gonna have this sort of a thing going on there. That's that's very cute. 
Well, they have to. Okay, okay. I'm not gonna look it up. I'm not gonna look it up. <laughs> Maybe she's gonna come back in Ariana Hazard Legacy. From her illness. Oh heck yeah! And then they reveal the, the garden. The golden garden was made public thanks to the work of an eminent archaeologist. Sweet. It became known to all, as did the name of the man who solved its puzzle, Professor Herschel yeah. Layton. Layton, Layton, Layton. Oh my gosh, so many cutscenes. Oh, Descole! It appears that I underestimated Leighton. <laughs> All things happen in good time. Don't worry, Master. Oh, I'm not worried. After all, patience is a virtue. <laughs> To be continued. Da, da, da. Did you enjoy Brazilian in the last factor? Absolutely, except for the part where Lucia died. But uh, yeah, it was amazing. Fun doesn't stop just because you've seen the ending. There are a total of 155 puzzles placed throughout the story. Yeah, I only ended up doing like, what, mm, like 90 ish or maybe 100. Can you solve them all? You might unlock some new goodies in the bonuses section. There's all sorts of fun waiting for you there. You can view exclusive content as well as try your hand at some expert level puzzles. Have fun with Professor Lee and the Last Spectre. Heck yeah. I wonder if this game, it probably does. It, it might, like I have a, a connecting puzzle with the other two games. Or maybe just Miracle Mask. Or maybe the third game, maybe Unwound Future. Your game will be saved. When you continue this game, you'll resume play right after the last battle. Okay, cool. From there, you can explore the town, collect any items, or solve any puzzles you may have missed. Okay, sweet. Yes, that's fine with me. I will put it... Uh... Yeah, that... Or... I'll just put it here. Yeah, there's the hat. The, 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 the stamp of approval. You did it. Oh, I didn't look at the dude. The golden garden thing is the background of the title screen. That is so sneaky, dude. <laughs> that's that's awesome.